When we want to calculate the reflection coefficient at interface B, make sure you do not read the reflection coefficient off of the Smith chart, as I mentioned earlier. So that won't take into account material one. So instead we're going to read uh, or use the eta B denormalized value we had at the end of part A. And we're going to pl plug that in, I'll just call that eta B here, into reflection coefficient at interface B. It's eta B minus eta 1 over eta B plus eta 1. So if we plug that everything in, we get minus 0.49 minus J 0.17. And if we use our geometry skills, we get 0.52 at an angle of one, minus 161.2 degrees. Lastly, for this problem, I have a concept question here. Part C, are the electromagnetic fields out of phase in any of the three material regions? 